All right, guys, I'm back today with another video, and this one is going to be brought to you by the company China Lace Wigs. Of course, if you guys aren't subscribed to my channel, please hit the subscribe button. Also, turn those notifications on so that you do not miss another video. You guys can see China Lace Wigs does have a new box, and in the box, you get the bag that your unit will come in. They sent me over this ombre color Body Wave 360 lace front wig, and it does come with a pre plugged hairline. It is 22 inches in length and it's also 180% in density and I do have a medium cap size. And you do get your soft lace. You get two combs on the side, a comb in the back, a comb in the middle, and your adjustable straps. And once again, you get that nice pre plugged hairline and it also comes with some baby hairs that you can customize. Of course, I did go ahead and wash my unit. I used my Aussie Moist Shampoo and Conditioner to set this. And then the cap size is a little bit big on me, but what I'm going to do is go ahead and lay this whole unit down using my Got To Be Spray. Work on cutting the lace off of this unit. Now this one does have that nice thin Swiss lace. I like China Lace Wigs lace. Like their lace is really good and I feel like it melts in really nicely with your skin tone all you have to do is add a little bit of powder now i did go ahead and bleach the knots on this unit but from the beginning you guys can see that the knots are very small so you do not have to go in and bleach your knots on this unit because they aren't very noticeable adjusting everything i did notice that i will just have to cut off a very tiny piece by the ears because a little bit of the lace is coming over and as you guys can see it's going to be so small that's why i'm having to keep readjusting usually i have to cut off a good amount but this time it was fitting good by my ear but not good enough to where i wasn't going to have to go in so i'm just going to go ahead and go on both sides and i want to make sure i cut enough off to where that lace is going to come by the top of my ear because i do want to kind of swoop some hairs over on the side it's going to pin the hair back on the sides and then i will also kind of adjust the wig to where i want it to be you don't want your wig to be too far back on your forehead so i wanted to pull it up just a little bit so that it could sit right and then i'm going to use the pink bottle of the got to be free spray line which is the glam force edition i do get a lot of questions on where i picked this up at i found mine at my local um, family dollar now it used to be in like cvs walgreens the local drugstores but i don't see it there anymore I'm going to spray this on top of the lace at the very front of the hairline and then on the sides I'm going to spray a very good amount and then I'm going to place the lace on top of it and then just kind of melt it in using the end of the red tail comb. Now my main focus was focusing on the sides and making sure that they stick really good. So usually you guys don't see me using a lot of the free spray. But because I wanted this to lay down and I did plan on wearing it, I knew that I needed to spray a good amount. And then I'm going to use my blow dryer and I'm going to rotate between the warm setting and also the cool setting. And then I will just move to the other side and do the exact same thing. Dries down. I'm going to show you guys what the side looks like. It looks really good. So I'm going to move to the other side and I'm using the end of my rat tail comb because I want to make sure that I kind of just, you know, melt it all in. And then you guys will see me focusing on the very front of the lace because the last thing you want is your lace to be rolled up, especially when you have that Swiss lace, you want it all to be laid down really flat. Side, it took me about seven to ten minutes just to make sure that it was fully dry and then like i said i'm going to go back over with the rat tail comb just make sure everything is pressed in i'm also going to comb out that hair while i'm holding the hair down because of course i don't want it to pop off if i'm combing too hard but i just want to make sure everything looks really natural and just start combing out where i sprayed the hair at in case any spray got on it because you don't want it to look really dry or flaky up in the front Head and spray my heat protecting spray on the hair to get ready to flat iron it. Now, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do if I wanted to add curls, but I really wanted to see what this unit looked like straight. I did get a little bit too close with the heat protecting spray. It will come off looking a little bit oily, but once I flat iron everything out, you won't be able to tell at all. This is why I say be careful with this heat protecting spray. You do not want to spray 
too much of it on just because you don't want your hair to look super oily so i'm gonna go in using my capozzi flat iron you guys know this is my fave at the moment until i decide to purchase something else but you can find this on amazon it is very affordable and of course any products that i am using will be listed down below for you guys if in case you want to purchase definitely see a big difference when i flat iron this unit out because when it is air dried it does come off very dry looking but as you guys can see when the heat is added to it it is coming off really beautiful and nice and sleek um, i did have to go through it a couple of times i went through it about two to three passes and i focused more towards the ends of the hair just because it did have that lighter color so i wanted to make sure that it got really straightened is what it looks like after I'm done flat ironing the one side I will go off a of camera and do the other side and now that I'm back I'm going to go ahead and add my care care wax stick at the very top I did notice a couple of short hairs not too many to where it was annoying but I definitely wanted to make sure that everything looks really nice and sleek and also pressed out at the top now one thing I will say is that this unit does lay really flat as you guys can see all you need is a little bit of heat to it of course you guys, like I always tell you, if you do not want to do all these extra steps, you can just wash your unit and just kind of set it and let it air dry overnight. I'm just walking you guys through the tutorial after you have washed the hair and if you decide to restyle it again. So next, we're going to move on to my little sideburns. Now, I did not decide to do any baby hairs with this unit. It was not needed. The hairline is on point. I feel like it looked natural enough. So I'm just going to swoop a little bit of hairs over on the side. I, I like the way that it came out. It came out really, really good. I did use my Lotta Body Foam Wrap on the side and just kind of swoop it over using my edge brush. And I tried to not, you know, make them too thick, but I wanted it to look natural enough to where if I took my hair behind my ears, it was still going to look really, really good. So this side, I did have to go down and cut it down a little bit shorter, but for the most part, I think I did a good job. I usually don't do this, but I wanted to try something different. Coming this side down a little bit more and just making sure to mold it. It did take me a while because I wanted it to be swooped the correct way. After I am done with that, I'm going in with my Glee May satin scarf and I let it sit on for about 10 minutes just to dry down. And then I'm going in with my Ruby Kisses 3D Contour Creator Powder Palette in the color light medium. And I'm going into the parting space and around the hairline. Now, honestly, the hairline did not need a lot of powder, but I just went in like at the very top of the hairline so it can blend in all with my skin to take my Garnier Fruity Sleek and Shine Serum and run this throughout the hair. This is going to help prevent any type of frizziness. And I did notice a little bit of frizziness throughout the day. Um, it wasn't too bad, but you definitely want to make sure you put some serum in it just to help control it because I did want the sleek look with this unit. This is the final outcome of what this style looks like. I am very happy and I'm happy I took my time with it. Now, this video might only be like 10 minutes, but it definitely took me way longer than that. I just have everything speeded up. The hairline is on point and I just love the way it all melts in together. So this is what the unit looks like while I'm standing up. Now I have the 22 inch, but this goes all the way up to 26 inches for my ladies who love the long hair don't care. And I feel like with this density, it's definitely not to me on the 180% side, but I feel like it's good enough for the heat that is coming up. As this is a 360 style I did want to go ahead and show you guys some different looks now I did not pull off these styles on camera because this video was truly long y'all and I had to make sure that it just wasn't too long so this is what a half up half down style looks like and of course the hairline still on fleek is melting in hair was easy to style all I did was kind of comb it up and just add a little bit of heat to the front with the hot comb and then I just put a rubber band in it and that was it and the last doing this top knot bun was a little bit of a struggle for your girl I am not the top knot queen I am still learning myself but of course as I learn I will continue to show everything that I am doing showing the front because my back wasn't laid down correctly but I got y'all I will make sure to film another video trying to put it all up into a bun and then this is what the side part looks like it is still laid I love 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 how flat 
this unit is laying to my head now as far as shedding and tangling goes i did get a little bit of shedding with this unit and i did get a little bit of tangling guys let me know what your favorite style is and if you are feeling this ombre color um i want to say my favorite style has to be this side part but i think they all look really good you guys have to let me know down below Once again if you guys are interested in this unit i'll make sure to leave all the deets down below don't forget to subscribe to my channel turn on your notification button share and like this video and i'll see you guys next time Bye, guys.